I thought it was really interesting. I expected it to be interesting because I remember Alastair from many years ago, actually, but um, I, I knew he'd be interesting. But uh, um, also because I work for the Anti-Discrimination Board and disability discrimination is our biggest area of complaints as well as, um, you know, with the Australian Human Rights Commission. So it's a topic that I'm, I'm concerned about. The interesting to me is all the little things that people can do to improve um, life for people with disabilities when they become aware of the problems. You know, the example that um, Alastair gave about the, I think he said it was, it was the Coles, having a quiet time for people with, um, on the autism spectrum so they can go and do their shopping. And I've heard of other shops doing that as well. And it's, I think people are mostly generous and well-intentioned, but they don't realise um, the difficulties that face people with disabilities. And, um, you know, it's nice to hear about things like that. And we, you know, we all should be using every opportunity to, to talk about the, the, the obstacles for people with disabilities so that, um, um, you know, things can continue to improve. I, I, there, there are lots of things, there are lots of little things like that. I mean, you know, one of the things that, again, Alistair mentioned, people with wheelchairs, when there's a fire alarm, they're supposed to sit out on the landing until someone comes and gets them. Um, you know, how would you feel if you were in that situation? But there are so many sort of small things, and because there are so many different disabilities, um, you know, everybody has different needs and um, I always say if you, if you want to be able to help somebody, ask them what they need, you know, what are the obstacles they face um, and, and what can you do for them. But um, my particular interest has been in people with um, intellectual disabilities and mental illnesses and, and they have a real problem because they're not always able to speak for themselves and uh, so they rely on other people advocating for them and um, you know that's an ongoing um, area for, for lots of work. Well I was interested to hear that you're looking at youth because at the Anti-Discrimination Board we're going to um, have a big focus on youth next year as well but um, I think age is the other um, area, the problems facing older people, older people in the workplace but also the generation you know ahead of them, especially with computer technology I think life just gets harder and harder for elderly people because all of the things that they're used to like banks and um, post offices and, and you know things like that that they understand um, are disappearing and it's asking people, asking a lot of elderly people to expect them to adapt to technological change and um, you know I, I really see that as a big issue.